So hello everyone. In this video, we will use the dashboard scope for your project. So to use the dashboard scope, go to the library browser, search the dashboard scope in the search term or go to the Simulink dashboard. So just add the dashboard to your project and you can use any constant block to see the waveform in the project so with the help of dashboard scope what you can see you can see the real-time waveforms in the dashboard without opening the scope okay so now we want to connect this constant block to the dashboard okay so we just use the connect block okay so just use the hit on the connect and just click on the signal line so it will give the constant one so this is now connected okay so it will show the constant one is connected to the projects so now what you want to do you want to change the constant value so to change the constant value what you can do you can use the knob okay so this knob with the help of this knob we are changing the constant value and this constant value will be displaying on the dashboard scope so to connect with this knob with this one what you can do is just use the connect and it will use you the constant value just click on this one it will give the constant value so now you can change the limit for this constant value so you can double click on this one and the maximum value you can make it 10 and hit apply and make it okay so now i'll change the simulation time to 100 and i'll just run it so now it is changing you can see that it is changing now by changing this value you can change the constant value and you can plot you can see the data in the real time in the in the dashboard scope without opening the scope in your projects so this is the way you can create a dashboard scope and you can connect uh, the any variables to your project okay if you like this video and you want me to make a such kind of video comment me on the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much